Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ines Leia and welcome to the CreatorGalaxy.com space station. Here in space we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. In today's video we're going to be talking about a video I've made in collaboration with Adobe and it was full with awesome visual effects. And now I want to take you through one of the effects we have created for that video. And that's how to remove a green screen and replace your background. All right, so here I am in Adobe After Effects and this is the footage that I will be working with. As you can see, we have recorded this outside. It's always good to film your green screen on a location that is similar to your final location to have a kind of uh, realistic lighting setup. If you are recording in a studio, you will have to recreate the lights that you will be using for your outdoor scene that you want to film yourself for. What I will be doing is dragging my footage into a new composition. I will fit this to my composition and go to the pen tool and make a rough mask around my actor, but just look where I'm in the scene. So right here I see that my arm is coming in the left corner, so I will zoom out a little bit and start over here and just drag around myself. We do have some difficulties here um, because we have some shadow in our green screen and these are usually harder to key out. It's always better to have an evenly lit green screen, but in this case it was not possible. So let's see how we can solve this green screen. Just check your mask if you are in the mask at all times. Maybe it's getting a little bit close over here. So we can offset this point here a little bit. And over here as well. And that's looking all right. Also here we do have a white part that is going away as I get closer to the end so we will have to key out that or if you're lazy you can just scale it up a little bit. There we go. So now we have our green screen uh, completely separated from the background so I will be going to effects, keying, key light 1.2 and here I want to select my screen color and I want to take like a medium part of my green. Then I want to change my view to screen mat and here we can see a representation of me and the background. Everything that is white will be shown and everything that is black will be deleted out of your shot. So I want to clean up this a little bit more. We can play with the screen gain and balance but I like to go into the screen mat instantly because this is already a pretty good mat and I want to increase the clip black just until we don't see the green anymore. Scrub through it a little bit. That's looking all right. Maybe just a little bit more. And then I want to reduce the clip white here until myself is also not showing any noise or any spots whatsoever. So this is looking pretty cool. Now what I want to do is go for intermediate result and we can see ourselves. We can also toggle off the transparency grid so I can see myself a little bit better. I also like to test always with a solid behind it and I like to use the magenta color here. This just is the complete opposite of the green color and will show me any spills in my scene and just give it a good review. Once you've done that we can delete this and we can also add a advanced spill suppressor. So we go to effects and presets, search for advanced spill suppressor and apply that to your scene and that will remove all the greens that you might have from the green screen. We can also play a little bit with the screen softness, set this maybe to 1 and play around a little bit with the settings until you're satisfied with the results. Next we want to add in our backdrop to the scene. So to do this I will be using Adobe Stock's integrated tool in Adobe After Effects. So I will go to Window, Libraries and right here I can actually search for something. So I imported this background here as a preview just to check if you like it in your background. So now we just have to do some adjustments to our color. We can add a curves to the background and brighten it up a little bit. Go to blur and sharpen and use a lens blur to make uh, your scene a little bit more depth. And then we will do the same thing for myself and also play around with the color correction curves to brighten myself up, add a little bit more contrast and make it look like I'm actually in the scene. All right, so that's the tutorial on how to do a green screen removal and how to import your background in there. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.